So in the last episode, we defeated the defending NBA champions, right? The Milwaukee Bucks. They won back-to-back -back championships on this series. And I asked you guys in the last episode, should I go ahead and try to make a trade for Ray Allen? Remember, I've been trying to trade Jay Williams low-key, just gauging little offers that I have. And right now, i got a little bit of a trade proposal set up for the Milwaukee Bucks. I just want to see if they will accept it. And if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. I really don't care. But I, I just want to see. You know, I'm just... I'm just throwing some trades out there, you know, being the GM that I am. You, you guys know I'm I'm all about team progression. And Ray Allen might be what this team needs. Who knows? But before I continue, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Prince YouTube PS Compulsion signing in here, a.k.a. Prince Anthony. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let's get things rolling. So I got this deal set up right here. J. Will straight up for Ray Allen. But I might have to include somebody else in the deal. Eddie House. I mean, it makes sense. Swap in two guards, and then they I also throw in Jay Will at that. So, Ray Allen, ooh, yikes. All right, so in terms of his risk of injury, he has a bad back. I totally forgot that at this stage of his career, Ray Allen is 30 years old. Let me see. Damn, I can't just do Eddie House by himself. Imagine if I could do Eddie House straight up for Ray Allen, I would do it and then throw in some picks. But is there anybody else I could include in this deal? See, I have a lot of young guys on our squad. Getting a vet like Ray on the team really should help our team out. And then have Kyle Corver come off the bench behind Ray Allen. Come on, bro. That's the team right there. I'm going to try this trade. Let's see if they will accept it. I hope that they don't. I just want to see if they do. And, oh, wait. They got a counter offer. They want a second rounder. And they want to give me a future first rounder. They want... A second rounder and they want to give me a future first rounder with Ray Allen that's their kind of offer I thought they was gonna ask me for more than just a second round uh, I kind of want to do this deal but I'm not gonna OD right now I'll I'll, I'll I'll leave it up to you guys so comment for me in the comment section below should I make this deal then we're gonna have Ray Allen with Darren Williams Joe Johnson Josh Smith and Tyson Chandler that's not that's offense for days right there. I had to bump the dish to open man all the way up to 89. Alley you pass. I'll bump this up to like a 70. So the drive. I want him to drive a little bit more instead of shooting. I know he's a pretty decent shooter. Well, a pretty good shooter in my opinion based on his stats. But I want to get that up. I want my players to drive instead of just like shooting too much. I don't want to focus too much on the shooting. I feel like with those tendencies up, it should help the team a lot. Let's see, what else we got? So jump shooting tendencies. I'll bump up the mid-range a little bit. Why not? If you got a good open mid-range shot, like, why would you not take it? Pass interception, defense. Is that a 70? I feel like that's pretty good. I'm going to bump that up a little bit more. Let's see, what else we got? So freelance shot. I feel like this means, like, he's looking for his shot in general. And I don't want that. I want him to focus on passing instead of really focusing on finding his shot because we have a lot more players on our team that I feel like would benefit if you gave them the touches. Come on, bro. I mean, in theory, Jay Smooth should be looking for his shot a little bit more compared to everybody else on the team because that's who I'm really basing the offense on is Jay Smooth. So him being a vocal point of the offense, definitely got to get his shot up there and play discipline. I don't know what this is exactly, but I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to at least a 50. I'm going to leave it right there because I'm not going to... I don't really know what it means, but I'll leave that up there for now. There's not much in terms of the tendencies I want to change for Joe Johnson. But I want him to drive the ball a little bit more because when he drives to the basket... As you can see, when I run the pick and roll with him and Jay Smooth, he gets to the basket with ease. He's powerful. You can score with ease, bro. You shouldn't be pulling up. I know you ISO Joe and all, but come on, bro. I want Joe looking for his shot a lot more. He doesn't need that many touches, in all honesty. When he gets the ball, he's going to be lit. Play discipline. I got to bump that up, too. Let's see if tendencies would influence our Sims. So, simulating a few weeks into the season. Three-game winning streak, four-game winning streak. Ah, oh, man. Come on, bro. How we go on a brief four-game winning streak and then proceed to go on a three-game losing streak? This team never fails to disappoint. But anyways, at this point of the season, we're 5-5 five and five for the NBA season so far. Up next, we're facing off against the Utah Jazz. That should be a fun, very fun game. And nobody on our team is dealing with any injuries, so that's good. I'm glad nobody got injured. I should really knock on wood, but I'm not going to do that because I'm crazy. So, 
We gonna put we gonna put all our faith in this team right now. So at this point in the NBA season, Kyle Korver is the leading scorer for our squad. 16 points off the bench. Well says game started is four. Why is he starting? He shouldn't be starting, bro. But Joe Johnson right behind him with 15. Jace moved there as well. Jay Will, his points is down, but he's getting the team involved. That's what I wanted. I like this. So changing the player tendencies actually worked. The only two people we have to worry about facing off against this Utah Jazz team, it looks like it's just Stephon Marbury and D-Wade. Like, come on, my son, prime D-Wade and a prime Stephon Marbury. This should be a fun one. So we're 5-5 five and five for the NBA season. With this dub, if we could get this dub, we'll be over 500. Otherwise, we're going to be one game below 500. And the way this season is looking so far to start, I'm actually optimistic that we might be able to make the postseason with this roster. And who knows, if you guys approve my trade for Ray Allen, I'll do that too. Let's go Vegas. We got this. Watch the easy bucket right here. Off the fast break, Jay Willis. To, oh, he misses, but Jay Smooth right there with the rebound and the pushback. That's what I want to see. I love the way he goes after it there. I mean, and you've got to respect that. So we got the first two points of the game for our squad. Let's see what they got in this possession. This team looks like they have a bunch of, like, custom players. I don't know if they're any good or not, but we're going to find out this game. Off that miss. Driving with Jay Will. I'm going to squeeze it inside. Jay Smooth. Got it. There we go. Back to back buckets to start. I see Wade running to the three point line. He launches. Cannot get it to go. Five point lead for us so far. Let's keep things rolling. Let's see what I got in this possession. Somebody come free. There we go. Getting it to Joe Johnson. I kind of want to. Oh, wait. They cleared out. Why not? Joe Johnson got the defender up in the air. Puts it up and he got it. That should have been the and one. I mean, I just realized that this team have Andre Miller coming off the bench. I thought that was OJ Mayo at first. <laughs> but the Utah Jazz battling back into this game. Let's see what we got in this possession. We haven't scored in a while. There we go. Jay Smooth with the beautiful jam. They get inside foil. Going to the free throw line. Good pass inside. They have a chance to take the lead. They really shouldn't be. Oh, he bricked the first free throw. Let's go. They really should not be leading. Please miss the second one. Okay, they, they grabbed the lead. I feel like our second unit right now, I don't know what we're doing, but Utah really should not be up by one. Look at that. Fine inside to Verjao. Beautiful jam. Look at the beautiful find by D. Will. Because we got to do something right now because this is unacceptable, bro. There's no way we should be down eight to the Utah Jazz. But for some reason, this second unit just cannot score. I don't like that. I don't understand. What happened? So definitely had to bring my son Tyson Chandler right back into the game. Same thing with Jay Smooth. Have them run with Kmart and my son D. Will inside. Jay Smooth. That should get us going right now. Look at the poster. Can I get the three off the inbound? I want to launch that three. I should have with Kyle Corver. Definitely should have. But let's see what we got. Corver should be open. Oh, man. Come on. That's a lot of space. Oh, there we go. Corver. And not get it to go, but I get the offensive rebound. We are not scoring at all in the second quarter. I don't know what's going on, but I can't get nothing to go. Driving. Oh, my goodness. Kicking it out. Corver, I'll just launch another one. Perfect release. Of course. Now, we got to break into that pick and roll. Joe Johnson inside. Tyson Chandler. With the beautiful GGG jam. There we go. We're still down by 10 points, though. We really should not be down by this many points. This Utah Jazz team blocked that. Oh, there we go. He bricked it. Cannot get the layup to go. Here comes Jay Will to the basket. And one. There we go. Let's get the offense rolling. That's something that we need right now. Free throw is good. All right, we cutting into this lead. Please, I'm just begging for a stop right now because right now this team is making everything. Even at the three-point line, these bums are making three-point shots. I don't like that. Grab the... There we go. Perfect steal. Here comes Jay. Will. Keep cutting into the lead. They better watch that shot clock. Down to two. They're not making that. Let's go. We're running. Still down by nine. Getting the ball up ahead to Jay Smooth. Oh, who's that? Oh, man. I expected Eddie House to cut to the basket or something. And it's a Joe Johnson. He was open for a slight second. I'm going to just start popping open jump shots, bro. But 
Jay Smooth got a baby on him. That's too easy. You can't miss shots like that. They're not letting us get nowhere on offense. Good luck for Joe Johnson. That should have been a perfect release. Like, why is jump shot so hard on 2K23 and they're going to the free throw line? And, of course, they got the team takeover going off of a rebound. I hate that, bro. Things are really looking bleak for us. I do not like this. Second free throw is good. We're back down by 10. They got a team takeover going off that rebound on that last possession. End of the third quarter, at least if we get it to single digits to end this third quarter, I'll be fine. I feel like we'll be able to come back. Kicking it out, Joe Johnson. Now I get a perfect release, right? Come on. Don't let them get a three. Whatever we do, no three-point shots. Miller pulls up. Cannot get it to go. Okay, I thought they would have made that shot for sure. D-Wade made a shot like that earlier. But here comes D-Will driving all the way to the basket. Listen, we're cutting into this lead. Run him off the three-point line. Bring the help. Bring the help. D-Wade and one. Oh, my goodness. Wade pushes the lead back up to nine points. Yo, they are really starting to get me tight right now. I don't think I can win this game. What am I talking about? PS Compulsion is never out of a game. Driving inside Warwick. Got it. I'll take the easy two. Love it when they miss easy shots like that. We're starting to get all the momentum. Z will all the way to the basket. It's too easy right now. Listen, we're only down by five. We're still in this game, bro. PS Compulsion is never out of a game. All we got to do is lock up D-Wade. D-Wade the only one really scoring for this team right now. We can't afford him to get a take. We can't afford to let him get a takeover. He pulls up. Good, good defensive possession. Getting it to Martin. I'm launching the three. Kevin. Ah, it's not a three. Oh, I greened it, though. I'll take it. Please, we need this bucket right now. Come on, Martin. Don't disappoint me. Off the pick and roll. Kevin Martin to the basket. Draws the foul. I'll take it. He's a good free throw shooter. He's a good free throw shooter. Right now, we are on a mean run. First free throw. Got it. Oh, and I got a team takeover? Oh, my goodness. Of course, as soon as I get the team takeover, I get distracted. We cannot get it to go. No threes. Please. Wade cannot get it to go. It looked like he greened that. Definitely looked like he got a green release on that. Come on, bro. My second unit is killing it right now. Who's oh, oh, Corver open. Corver perfect release on the three. And just like that, we come back to take a one-point lead. Let's go. They need a timeout. Let's go. Trying to remain calm right now. We got the team takeover going. We got the, yo, we got all the momentum right now, bro. I got to lean forward real quick, bro. Stuff is getting real right now. Whatever we do, no three-pointers. D-Wade driving. Nice pass. I can't even be mad at that. Utah retakes the lead, but we got the takeover going right now. Soon I'm going to have to bring in my starters, but my second unit is killing it right now off the pick and roll. Oh, they left Corver open. Corver, another three bag. Let's go. Corver back to back threes. Talk to him nice. Nah, Prime Corver. Yo, Prime Kyle Corver is the goal. Prime Corver is the goal. Let's see what they got in this possession, though. Whatever we do, no three-point shots. Y'all know the drill. Run them off the three-point line. Who's that trying to get open? They're not getting open. D-Wade pulls up. Cannot get it to go. That's a bad shot. The Jazz is slipping away from them. I could take my time on this possession, though. Let's see if we can get Corver open again for another three. Oh, Corver for three. Cannot get it to go. Warwick with the rebound. And the put back. They need another timeout. Yo, if Tyson misses this shot, I'm going to be so upset. There we go. Tyson Chandler gets the easy bucket to go. He had a baby on him. He had to deliver. You had to deliver on that. Four-point lead. 37 seconds remaining in this game. No three-point shots. Let's see what they got. They're moving the basketball. Here's D-Wade on the drive. Corver, what are you doing? I guess we're going to have to play the free throw game. I want Kyle Corver to shoot these free throws. Oh, they're not going to foul. They should foul. Oh, there we go. They finally foul. Bro, I just realized. I don't know his free throw release. First free throw is no good. Hold on. Second free throw is perfect. I'll take it. I'll take I'll take one out of the two. Still a three-point game. Got to go with the offense, defense ups. So, offense, defense substitutions. I got Eddie House out there. Come on, bro. 
I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought just now. I'm trying to make sure I run them off the three-point line. I don't know who they're trying to get open. They're going to wait. Wait off the pick and roll for three. Got it. Time. Wait for three. Ties the game. Offense, defense subs. I'm bringing Kyle Cover right back into the game. If I could get Cover open for a three, I would be lit. But who are we going to on this possession? Taking the first available shot. Game is tied. We have a chance to win the game. Corver, get open. Get over. Yo, Corver for three and the win. Come on, Corver. That was a good look. That was a really good look for Corver, bro. Ah, oh, man. Nah, this game going to OT. Stay right there on them. I hate missing easy shots like that. Miller is not making that. Let's go. Grab that rebound. Let's see if we could get on the board here in OT. Here's Jay Will. Oh, man. I'm going over. Oh, drive to the basket. Corver is open. He got it. Kyle Corver keeping us in the game. Come on. We need this one, bro. Off the pick and roll. Not going nowhere. Shot clock winding down. I'm going to have to launch this shot. Jay Will. I was trying to draw the foul on the three, but I had to put it up. 30 seconds remaining here in this overtime period. They're down by two. Whatever we do, please do not let them tie. Bring in the help. Bring in the help. Get that weak stuff out of here. D-Way was not getting that shot. Bring in the help right there again. No easy buckets. Look at the defense. Look at the defense. He's not making that. Oh, how does he get the rebound? And he gets fouled. Are you kidding me? The ball don't lie. Ball does not lie. First free throw is no good. They missed the second. Two clutch free throws for the Hall of Fame CP. Hold on. First free throw is good for Tyson Chandler. How's his free throw release so smooth? Hold up. Second free throw. Perfect release again. It's a four point game. Let's get it. They don't got much time left. Run them off the three-point line. Wade, contested three. Won't go, ladies and gentlemen. We steal a huge overtime dub here in Utah. After a crazy clutch comeback in the second half, thanks to Kyle Corver with some clutch threes, a clutch bucket here in OT, and we get the dub. I think I want to trade for Prime D Wade now because this team is not doing it for him, bro. I'm sorry. This team is straight trash. It is straight trash, but 22 points this game. When I normalize play to Sim stats, he dropped at least 40 or 50 on me, bro. But perfect team win, perfect team effort. Tyson Chandler, 15 rebounds. When I normalize play to Sim stats, he definitely broke the Las Vegas Royales record, bro. 15 rebounds, 10 points. Everybody did their thing. Every single person did their thing in some way, shape, or form. Perfect team win. Perfect team effort. Per this is as perfect as a box score as you guys will ever see. Like 44 points for Wade, 18 of 43 from the field. I didn't expect them to be that bad from the field, but let's see what what is his career high here on this my NBA series? 53 points. That's not too bad. Definitely not too bad. Of course, the league leader is Kobe. He dropped 59 this season, of course. But perfect team win, perfect team effort. Darren Williams had 14 assists, 10 points. Tyson Chandler had 30 rebounds. 30 rebounds is insane. Jay Smooth with 26. Kyle Corver with 22. I was just launching three-point shots with him. Jay Will did his thing as well. Perfect team win. Perfect, perfect, perfect team effort. You guys got to tell me what you think about this team because the way that the team is currently constructed, when I play the games, it's like the offense flows so organically. But when I sim games, as you can see, it's either we're on a win streak or we're on a losing streak. I don't get it. Like, I'm trying to figure this team out. Should I make some trades? What should I do, bro? Comment for me in the comment section below. Should I trade? Should I make or change? I should say change. Should I change some more player tendencies? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. But this game was lit. One of the best games that I played on 2K23 yet. We beasted on the Hall of Fame CPU. Game came down to the wire. Went into overtime. Good game, bro. Really good game. But click my face. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'm dropping quality bangers out here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. It's the Prince of YouTube. Signing out.